Hello everyone. I want to show you the additions that I've made for the new 1.1 version of my add-on of creating stairs for Blender. So let's get right to it. Now, as before, you can start creating your stairs quickly and easily by pressing Shift A, going to the mesh, and coming down here and selecting one of the two stair types you want to create. Let's start with the basic forward stairs. Now, if you look down here in the Add Stairs menu, there are a few more options. Now, uh, I've had a few, uh, few people want to set stairs by height rather than number of steps. So while being able to change the number of steps is still an option, if you would rather just set an overall height for the stairs, you can bring this drop down box to stair height. And now this bottom slider will, will let you set the uh, height of each individual stair. So if you want each stair to be 0.2 meters high, then it is going to figure out how many steps that's going to be. And then by changing the height, you can see all those stairs are going to remain at 0.2. And uh, even if we drag that out a little bit. So uh, if you're more concerned about stepped height than the number of steps, this could be a uh, faster way to configure that. The uh, next thing I've done is if uh, we go over to the curve stairs, so uh, actually let's move this guy to the side and create the new curve stairs. Now you'll see that I've changed the pivot point for the curve stairs. Before, the pivot was in the center of this circle that we're sort of sweeping around here. Uh, but now it is going to be anchored at the center of the bottom step. So that's a little bit easier if uh, you want to align it because uh, dragging this point off to the side is a little bit awkward. So finally, the third thing I've done, and I think this is uh, probably the biggest change, is I've added UV mapping. In the original version of the plugin, there were no UVs. You just got the basic geometry. However, uh, if we go into the UV editing mode and we tab in there, you can now see the UVs that we've got created here. Now you can uh, grab these and move these around. Uh, this long skinny one here at the top is what you get by just going along the top of the stairs here. Now. Uh, you can still do whatever texture, whatever UV mapping you want on this. You don't have to stick with this, but this is a convenient way to have a single nice texture just go straight down the middle here. Uh, that's really good if you just want to rough something in or if that might be what you're looking for. So uh, I can even assign a texture here. We can give this staircase a, uh, a loose stone material and go into that mode all right and here you can see we have the stone and if we want to change the top bit we can assign material to that too let's say we want to put on some uh, wood slats there and assign and yeah there's a quick way to assign materials and let's say you want these to go horizontally you can do that too Let's just zoom back out here and select all those vertices, rotate 90 degrees. Now you'll see there's a little bit of um, skewing over here, but that's easily fixed. I'm just going to tab into edit mode and then we're going to press control R and we're going to add some loop cuts here. And that problem is going to fix itself. And yeah, same thing over here. We've also added UVs to the uh, straight stairs. Can select all of those to sort of, so you can sort of see the UV layout and you can click and drag these around to uh, whatever your texture map is that you're mapping to. But uh, you can see that when you put the, the stone brick texture on here, that maps very nicely too. So that's the whirlwind tour of all the changes. Uh, I hope you like this. Um, if you like the plugin as it was, the, the add-on as it was before, uh, I hope you'll like this one even better. All right. Thanks for watching.